You know, there's three complications that make drawing from neonates difficult. One is that they have hard to find veins. Two is that we have to always stabilize their arms. And even when we conquer those challenges, we still have to obtain adequate volumes. What about solutions to hard to find veins? I like to consider hand veins on neonatals because they're often more developed than their antecubital veins. We also want to make sure that we're using a pediatric tourniquet. And let's make sure we're pre-warming the site because whenever we pre-warm, we're increasing the flow of blood through the area by a function of seven. We can also use wet palpation. Do you know what I mean by wet palpation? If you take your finger and wet it with, say, an alcohol prep, that wetness reduces the surface tension as you're palpating and enhances your ability to feel the curvature and resiliency of the vein because the liquid serves as a lubrication that eliminates the dry skin to dry skin sensation that can mask the feel of the vein. We also want to consider scalp veins. Now scalp veins are something that's considered an acceptable alternative for neonates, but it does require special training and technique. I've never in my years drawn from a scalp vein, nor would I attempt it. I've simply not been trained. In fact, I've only witnessed it once and it was unsuccessful. But for the record, scalp veins are an acceptable alternative for neonatal venal punctures, but require specialized training. Of course, we want to recruit an assistant and to obtain adequate volumes, again, pre-warming is important. And let's also use a syringe so that we can control the negative pressure that's applied to the inside of the vein. So use a syringe with gentle pulling pressure to help obtain adequate volumes of blood in addition to pre-warming. Other solutions when performing a venipuncture is to make sure we have pediatric tubes around for those situations in which we get lesser volumes of blood than we anticipated. And sometimes we might ultimately have to revert to a skin puncture and use microcapillary tubes so that the laboratory can get a full volume of tubes, albeit in lesser quantity. The whole key here is to make sure we submit to the laboratory tubes that are filled to their proper level so that the blood to additive ratio is maintained and not submit underfilled tubes that threaten test results.